hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna show you how to build this medieval gazebo and before i jump right in if you've been enjoying my videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support the channel with that said let's jump right in okay so basically to get the octagonal shape so i start up with uh, the front here this is gonna be the front of our build and i'm just gonna rotate it one two and snap this right here in the corner Got another piece rotate two times rotate two times another two rotate two times and we just continue until we are all way around so the next thing that we're going to do is to add these uh, wood iron poles because we want to put the uh, stone up, up top and uh, give them the proper support so i'm just gonna do this all the way around so these little gaps here make sure that they they are facing so for this side i'll face in that um this uh, direction so it's just three just do it all the way around so the next part that we really want to get out of the way is putting these columns and the reason is that because the stone is going to be in the way when you're trying to line it up properly and going up so first i want you to take out these uh, stones here now just like this one i'm going to wrap the wood around to create the the column look of it now some of you guys are familiar with this design i understand it's uh, very difficult to do but all you just need is patience just patience so what i normally do is i place a two meter wood first just covering the wood iron pole then i get a one meter wood to place beside it rotate it two times so one two and then just look at the edges just aiming at the ground and just snap it right in once it's at the desirable um, point so just do it on the same side and there you go and then I just get the two meter wood rotate this two times place it right here as neatly as possible let's take your time and just uh, switch it over to the one meter wood rotate it two times snap it right there and let's make sure this one is snapped properly as well then finally we just get our two meter wood just aim right in the middle get that sweet spot both sides and there you have it it's finished and it's just the two meter wood that you use to just go straight up to the top basically <laughs> all right so let's bring this all the way up and that's it you have a nice little column so i'm gonna repeat this uh, process over until all these uh columns are all set so you should have something looking like this so far so the next thing that we need to do is to put down our stairs so we're just gonna mark this area so this is let me just make sure that it's set properly so that should be right there and this part so the next staircase would go right here as well we just have to make sure that it's lined up because the wood can create a different snapping point so be mindful of that and we just do the last one over here and the next thing that we want to put in is our flooring i am thinking i want the stone floor to overlap the stone foundation i've set already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a stone behind it to break this one and i'm gonna use it aim at this back stone here put that in then i can just piggyback off it going around just do the same over on the other side make sure it's lined up with it take that one out get the stone floor aim on the back of it there take that out then i can just carry this around 
and repeat this step over and over until you have all these uh, stone floor tucked in nicely so that we can put our little wooden design in the middle that i'm going to show you afterwards okay so now that you have the stone floor done so we're going to add our wooden floor in the middle so what i'm going to start off with is a two meter wood and i'm going to aim right here this little bit uh just a little bit lower than the stone because a part of the wood is going to basically tuck in the stone and i don't want it to show up on the surface so this is a good height just a little bit there and just uh, carry this over and just kind of have like a little staggered design with it so i'm holding down on shift key right now i'm gonna try to find the center i'm using the edge of the 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 wood to the left to line up with this uh gap here kind of have as a guide and place that down place this down then let's go back to center it with the first wood i've placed right here just gonna make sure that the level is all right then we have that tucked into the side and just follow this line here for the second piece let's bring this over bring it over you notice it's a pattern that is uh, creating so i'm following now this piece here so basically you just repeat this step here to have this staggered um floor look so when done your floor should look like this i also just want to mention as well if you plan to plant some flowers like in these little gaps here uh, i advise you to do them as soon as possible before putting up the roof so that you don't block the open sky because once you have the plants uh, a place here just like i mentioned in my previous video which is about terraforming when the flowers are fully bloomed if they have a roof over them they will not wither or die so let's make sure to have that done ahead of time so the next thing that we're going to focus on is now to kind of get the top structure um, set up we will uh come back down here to do some minor details later on in the video so right here let me just break this down so we just want to see where our wood iron pole is currently at so let's break this one as well let's break all these little ones here so that you can see where are they where they are so i'm just gonna get another wood a wood iron beam in this case here and have them connect to each other all the way around okay so it should all look like this right now so the next thing that you need is just to get the stone wall and what you're going to do you can basically be up top get a ladder or scaffolding and make sure to aim right on the inner part of the wood iron beam like this so it should be all centered and basically following the same line as it would be just be careful that it's not uh, snapping on the wood pole there somewhere if it is giving you issues you can just take those the top wood piece out take them out and just have the wood iron beam there only and just do this all the way around so this is how it basically should look on all edges and uh, now we can move over to the next part okay, so the next thing that we just need to do is to Add in this stone arch here at the front. I'm just gonna add a, a bit of design to it. So I'm just gonna do this all the way around like this. Pretty easy, nothing complicated in that. Okay, so with all of the stone arch in place, now the next thing what we need is a 45 degree beam. And we're gonna aim it at the gaps here. And between these gaps so it's supposed to be pointing in that that middle sweet spot it's not pointing to the to this direction and neither is pointing to that direction is that middle spot there so just gonna fill these middle areas with it okay good so with all of that in place now we're just gonna get our stone stairs and we're gonna place it right on top of these stone arches all the way around 
Okay, so everything should be set there. Now the next thing that we just need to do is get your wooden uh, beam, and you're just gonna put one out and one back here, one out, one on the back. Just put one back, one out, one out, one at the back. So everything should be looking like this. So the next thing we're going to get is our stone floor. And we're going to place it above the stone stairs that we have right here. So we're just going to aim right there at the back. It should over hang over it like this. And just do this on all sides. Everything in place. Now we can focus on the roof. And we're going to use start with our 26 degree and place it right here on the edge here. I'm going to put two, two rows of these uh, 26 degree. So next, we're going to add our wooden pole. And just want to support this section here because we're going to switch over to our 45 degree. We're going to have our roof pieces meet to the center point. So let's bring this uh, all the way up. So you see it starts to overlap each other uh, just like this next we're gonna add our wooden beam to go across right here at the front and we're doing this all the way around till everything is basically done the roof should basically look like this everything all place so one more thing that we just need to add and then we can put in our roof shingles Okay, so for this area here that we're going to fill out is going to use the wooden floor and we're just going to carry this all the way all the way around let me just break that one place that back in all nice and clean so we're just going to fill out this these areas here so that's um underneath it's basically covered you're not looking directly under the, the roof shingle so now to put in our roof shingles and we're going to start off with our 26 degree and just to note so you have the the wood here that we connect with just make sure that's just a little piece that is overlapping on the other side and do that on the here so it balance out and we just do the same thing here just fill out the middle here it will overlap in the center center of the for each side make sure that you have that done so when we're going around just make sure to start at the edges first then fill in the middle section after and for our second row here so we just going to you're going to find a snapping point uh, like this about that so about that is fine just a little little piece should be shown on the other side you just do the same thing over here you just go back a bit just aim until you just kind of shift it around till you find that right snapping point there right there we just do this on the other side so do the same thing just do the edges first and then fill in the middle piece afterwards just like this so do the edges first. Let's see, we just bring this over a bit. And then we just fill in the middle afterwards. So we're just aiming at this piece here, right at the edge. So one more time, the edges first. Just gonna pull this down. You will see that snapping point there. This is coming up, came over too much. There we go. To the other side. That's a bit too much. We can pull this over a bit. That should be good. Then we can do the middle piece up. Okay, so the next piece that we're going to use is a 45 degree. Now to snap this one in. So once there's going to be a snapping point here. But once you gauge it whereby looking at the edge to the left right here where I place it just a little piece should be showing on this side and then over onto the right you will 
bring it over should look like this and just a little piece should be shown on the side there just do the same thing here we should have something looking like this i'm gonna do this all the way around we can do a final piece right here we're just gonna put one piece slow aim right here at the center just place that piece in then we just aim right here at the center gonna overlap on the other side it's not gonna be a problem just do this all the way around and we should be all done so that is the roof it's all set nice and neat now we're gonna focus on the base part again just to add a bit more detail and so that we can give the gazebo more life so, so we're gonna add our dividers uh just like what you see here so basically we'll start with the middle first just place these down here and you can easily slide these ones to the side i uh, like this and you should be good pretty easy so the next thing that we need to focus on is our doorways and to put the arch so we're gonna need a 26 degree and we're going to use this gap right here where the wood pole connect to connect to that and use the other one as well and the meat right to the top there was one more thing that i should have uh, showed you before doing that but we can still do it anyways is put another row of wood right here now i'm going to use the one meter wood I want to have a staggered look to it. So place that right there, then get a two meter wood and then a one meter again to finish it off like that. Okay, and then we just go back to the arch. I'm just gonna get another piece here. We're just gonna manually place this one. Just want to have a little bit of depth um, going on with this. So we're gonna try to aim it. Placing at the center, should that should be good, and then we basically snap it on like that. You can see. We can do it again on the other side. So let me just put the wood right here first. So get the one meter wood. Slide it. No, slide it in. Let's make sure it's lined up with the, the top. Front is lined up with the top. Get a two meter then a one meter and you're good switch over to the 26 degree and that's it right there and another right here then we manually place the top one here just make sure it's like it's aim at the center and that's good just have to be right in the middle there then you can do the same thing on the other side and there we have it i'm gonna do the other side then we move on to the next one okay so now we're gonna add some a bit more detail to this open area here so we're just gonna add another row of wood uh beam so if you place the wood right on the you may see that it snapped that is fine if it doesn't snap you can just manually place it in so just place it in like that reason being that i want to get another wait let me just make sure that this is connecting properly no we just take that out and put that boy in manually ah, there we go because i want to put another row right right up top just kind of give a bit more detail and depth to the bill so one right here one right there so it should look like this I'm just going to do the same for uh the fronts right here just put one one right here and basically just going around with it so just snap a piece right here, snap a piece right there, and just manually place this in. Uh, when I manually place stuff in, I'm holding down on shift key so that it doesn't automatically snap to any uh, snapping point that is nearby. So this is one, and one more row, like that. Let's do this one. Let's see. Now it's not lined up properly. Just make sure that it's all lined up with the other side. And 
we're almost done then we can move on to the next one okay and so once we have the extra row in place now is to get our drapes and guys i love drapes i love that uh the the texture of it it's so fresh uh it's new the only thing that i that i'm um that i would want is that you, if you had like a longer version and you still have this version here this would could be the short version and just have a longer version uh to the drapes for these arches now the reason why i have these are these type of arches instead of like the the standard uh where is a blackwood arch because i didn't want it to overlap with the curtain when it, the, the arches are showing there it's and also it's going kind of flat for this kind of design so this kind of pops up more so for these and also i can use the drapes and make them in a way that it looks uh, a bit longer by let's position this one up higher let's see we can try and make this a lot better so about that and then we can do the same right on the other side then we kind of bring the side here a little bit downwards we kind of follow in the line of the the drape there at the bottom you can see that it does curve come down so when we look at it on the other side it does look like one long curtain then we just follow the line there and uh, voila there you have it so we're gonna add some wooden rails at the side of the stairs so just gonna snap that right here like this you start off with the upside down angled wall so you can get a correct snapping point to this ah there it is and we just flip it all over to the right side drop that in rotate it one time let's put this on top rotate it one time and rotate again to go down into the ground do the same rotate again down into the ground and for these little rails here these dividers let's put some little wood trim right here just to clean that up a bit and finally for the inner part of the roof we're going to let's find a little snapping part right here let's see you can see right there where it snaps right in let me just give you a clear look and this is how all of them are and we just want them to all meet together in the center because we're going to use it to hold up our brazier so we're just bring it all the way up so about three each two, three two three two three Two, three, two, and three. And our final piece, three. Okay, so we should have a nice little design like that, and we can just place a brazier, hanging brazier, right in the middle, provide you some lovely fire. Here's the final look of the build. Hope you had fun building this like I did. Also want to let you guys know I have all my builds saved on Patreon so that you can paste it in your world with ease using the build share mod. Details in the description. Thanks to all my YouTube members supporters along with my Patreon supporters for keeping the channel going and thanks to you the community for watching. Don't forget to always aspire to inspire. Peace.